No, I don't agree with the education system called school. It's like a prison for infants who need help. I think that by the age of 10, no human needs help. Especially one descended from the Mullen family. Most older high school peoples live in this neighborhood, and I don't intend on getting to know them, for they are vicious, careless, and destructive. My name is Gerald Mullen, and... Is that... Gerald, you freaking tar, give me a hug! Son of a... Ooh. I believe that summer is a gift that should be everlasting, but I will now consider not going to the public pool. I look fatter when I sit down. It's a bad habit. That would be Sean Winston on duty. Wait! You didn't drown? I'm gonna get you! Ah! Yeah, I hate kids. When I see them, I run at them and I grab. Oh yeah, high school's a blast. You get a job, you get to sell some goodies, you get to puff a few. My life's pretty much like a kite, but you can only get so high. Speaking of high, school. <laughs> it's usually where your criminal record is born, but you know, I just, I don't know really, you know. No, I'm, I'm not a lifeguard at the community pool. Why? All right, first day and there's nothing in my way except for a uh, Adults who have been misled career-wise by their inner Satan to become a teacher. Amen. Also, I'm pretty sure that this uh, building is an old church or something. Beats me. What is this rinky-dink historical piece of a building? Yeah, my mom says that the foundation here is a honky piece of sh I appreciate your vocabulary, cowboy child. Why, thanks. I'm Joseph Newman, the fourth former farmer of the frickin' fluttering chickens and more ranch. My dad was fired from Tyson Chicken Company for using a real chicken. Like, come on. I cut my toe off with a lawnmower. Well, hey, isn't that insane? I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, you too, Jerry. I don't know why Joseph introduced himself to me. It seems like every time I meet him, he just introduces himself again. He must be super dumb or something. Hi, I'm Joseph Newman. Hi, I'm Joseph Newman. If that kid could get into high school, then anyone can. The vibes that radiate from poor Joey are currently giving me knowledge that, that kid's IQ levels aren't so high. At all, he needed help after the age of 10. You know what? He should meet my sweet friend, Denim Coop. He once got ejected from a park for eating their wood chips. I bet they could relate. True. Yeah, I was super hungry that day, and finding those eatable wood chips was a dream. And I hope it was a dream, because I don't know how I'm going to digest those. My name is Denim Coop, and I think I'm 17. Been on my own, you know, lately, and how did I get here? Well, it all started in the eighth grade. My pet crab named Rhino died. <laughs> wanted me to do the dishes, dad wanted me to comb his mullet, and school wanted me to do work at home. And then uh, the mom and dad hit the divorce and divide vibe, and I was coming home from school one day, and a hooded man in an alley gave me a skateboard and a bag of grass, and I knew it was the Holy Spirit, so Jesus clearly wanted me to move on. Packed a bag, hack a sack and a toothbrush in, I ran away. So I've been on my own for about six months and eight days now. Y yeah, and life's 
it's pretty good. On the bright side, I found a vacuum cleaner in the river. Uh, I've taught myself to be an expert gorilla. And harvesting my rock farm and growing water. So, life's looking up around the corner. Also, I'm kind of buzzed. So basically, he's dumb. So get yourself focused. I hate school. Okay, um, is this like a YouTube video or? TV show or something? Well, uh, what is this? Documentary. Oh, okay. Um, my, I'm Anthony. Anthony Coley. Super attractive and easy to like, you know. That's just me. My Instagram, the booming off the charts. Go follow me at snap, Anthony Attractiveness underscore money sign. It's booming. Go see me for daily fits. I like, you know, check this out. I copped this yesterday, you know, three bucks. <laughs> Nobody knew who Joseph was before the freshman lock-in. Let's just say it was traumatizing and terrifying. Ah, uh, it was at Joseph's house, and not many people showed up. But the ones that did have been scarred. What are you doing? Man, I'm watching my grass grow. Okay, that's kind of weird. Man, you're in court now. No, 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 please. <laughs> what do you say we scare Anthony and then drag him out to my shed and let the pigs lick him and sick him? I got him. Okay. Shh, I hear him Freshman lock in these apps are booty. What the heck? I thought you were joking. Ha, yeah, you're gonna help me do it or you're gonna join him. You little. Love <laughs> me. Hmm, yeah, no question. I love my friends. We have a good time. Hey, watch it, you do that one more time and I'll gouge your eyes out with a wasp stinger. You're an absolute dude. You know what I'll do? I'll take your sister and I'll throw her off the Golden Gate Bridge. You are a hey, piece of filth. I don't want to be talked to like this by a woman. A woman? Long hair boy. Oh, okay, even if I am a woman, I'm a woman with a black belt with you a karate, okay? Just hit me with your best shot. Okay, hit me with best okay. Shot. Oh! Yeah, my name is Mitch Glover. I pretty much run this school. Uh, I hate people, and I, uh, I execute that hate by doing a little bit of karate. <laughs> Black belt, by the way. <laughs> There's a gecko in here. It's my only friend. Life's been painful this last semester. But it's the little moments like these that keep us moving on. My Instagram is booming. We've been progressing, slowly. I mean, Joseph, we've been helping him out. 
Yeah, so I uh, started to grow up my hair, but then my dad started to threaten me with the 12 gauge, so I quickly stopped. I thought about changing genders, but again, reminded by my dad's 12 gauge. Um, I've also changed my voice. Apparently this is cooler. But I keep on getting threatened with the 12 gauge. I usually have lunch in this room because I don't like bullies. General science. Oh, there is a study hall. And Anthony just got his phone taken away. Mitch, there is no helping. I'm sandwich man! <laughs> what do you do with your, you pea brain? Yeah, that's right, buddy. Yeah, that's right. And denim. Oh. Yeah. Who knows what happened to him? As you can see here, this is my land. And I've been pretty disturbed lately. Every morning about six, six, seven, I spend a little streak of run around in the woods. Now if you come over here, six, seven morning, you'll see him. You'll see. That's kinda awkward. I really don't know why I need to be in this. I mean, yes, I know denim, but just to give him his meds, I uh, dare you to add me in the intro. Uh, it's C-A-R-T-E-R. -E I don't want to be one of them guests. Uh... Sometimes it's strange, the things that bring us together. But in the end, the stranger days are the ones we cherish more. I think I might start a book club sometime later. Also, I just found out that our high school, SCA, used to be an elementary school. Half of it still is. No thanks. Weirdest school I've ever been to. Oh, and that girl keeps slapping me. I guess that's it. But that's what happens in the ninth grade. Are we done? There's Brayden Vaughn. He's Brayden. You know, ever since I ran away, I've been thinking a lot. The only person that would really take me back home would be Nana. Yes, I'm his grandmother. And if you see Denim, don't tell him where I am. Also, he's as dumb as dirt. Boy, do I love Nana. 